I went to bed the other night with braids in my hair. And this is what I got. So, let's put this back, shall we? I also wanted to show you that I got these really cool new magnifiers. Are they cool? The other day, I'm not even kidding you, I was looking at my phone like this. And I'm like, why don't these go on? That is a true story. Well, I have got fabulous 1960s, 1970s patterns. Shall we go through them together? They are so wonderful. I want to make them all, except maybe the nurse's uniform. I want to make these patterns because they, oh, they just light me up. They are from two generous viewers of mine. The first stack is from Helen. The second stack is from Mary. I'm wearing a dress. This is a short dress, okay? Uh, there's the hemline in there. It's got pockets. I have a video up about this dress. It was in one of my makes videos, and I'll try and link it in the description box if you would like to, to see it. I'll say this front, um, what is that, a binding? No. Panel? No. What? What is going on? What is that? Okay, we gotta move on to our patterns. Anyway, this thing gave me trouble, but let's get on with it, shall we? The first pattern from Helen is indeed a nursing uniform. I love this. This would have been when all those heavy duty polyesters were coming out. Banlon, Antron, Daycron, you name it. One of those ons was coming out and you can just feel it, you know, that heavy texture. Anyway, that is Simplicity 5268. I imagine it was probably made a lot back in the day. Oh wait, let me hook up my microphone. Oh, I love this. This is McCall's 8706. We have a little trapeze dress gathered into a neckband with patch pockets. No more white gloves these days, I'm afraid. This is McCall's, did I just say that? You guys, something's wrong. Um, now, I have been eating an unnatural amount of Lindy's Italian ice, and I think it has frozen my brain. This is definitely gonna get made, I love it. And you can put long sleeves on it for winter, wear it with tights and boots, and that's adorable. Simplicity 3550, this is a skirt pattern, but you also get that full sleeve top with a big collar and wide leg pants. Wow, those are wide. Next up, I'm thinking 70s Vogue 8951. The little jacket is cute and could translate to present day. I don't know if the collar is too big, but actually the dress is cute too. And it is suitable for knits. Suitable for knits. You'll notice in these old patterns, um, for knits, they always put zippers in them. Always, 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 because the knits that were available were those heavy duty polyesters and they really didn't have a lot of stretch. So they put those long zippers in them. 8997 McCall's, another silhouette that I personally love. This is called a Junior Petite dress in three versions. Very straightforward. Um, that might be button and loop on the front. 
let me get my handy dandy cool new pair of glasses. I don't know if they're cool or not. I thought they were. I think that all glasses just kind of fall into that I'm old and can't see. All magnifiers, not all glasses. Okay, that may be button and loop on that purple dress. This is definitely 70s, Butterick 4110. You get a lot in there. I love Butterick patterns from the 1970s. They had some of the cutest styles and they would give you a lot. So in here we have shirt, mid-length dress, maxi dress, and pants. There are the line drawings. And this is not suitable for knits. Vogue patterns. What is this number? 8928. A very cute dress with some interesting seaming on the front. Don't know if that's considered princess seaming because it comes in at the top. I thought princess seaming always went out, but I could be wrong about that. Very smart, you get the dress and you get the jacket. Um, yeah, I gotta keep moving. Butterick, 6528, love the jacket. And that's all you get in here is the jacket. You don't get the pants or the skirt. And semi-fitted wrapped jacket has large notch collar with rounded lapels. So it is lined. I wondered about that. Yes, it is lined. Simplicity 6614. Here's another multi-piece pattern. You get a dress, you get the jacket and you get the pants. The pants are, looks like the pants are elastic waist with a zipper. How about that? Elastic waist pants with a back zipper. McCall's 2647, a very smart dress there. And that is a dress in three versions and half sizes. This is 14 and a half with a 37 inch bust. We're back to Vogue 8261. A pantsuit and a dress that you can belt. It's actually sewn loose with no waistline. Vogue 8261. And the last one from Helen is 2194 McCall's. I love the yoke on that. Really cute. You can belt it or you can wear it loose. And not many pieces, look at that. Not many at all. So now we're going to move on to the patterns from Mary. I was so excited when these arrived because there were several in here that I had marked on Etsy that I wanted to get myself. And here they were. How cool is that? Simplicity 6086, this is 1970s, and this is all popular again. The 70s are back. We've got the little puffed sleeve, check. The back tie, check. The gathering under the bust and button front, and the shorter length, that is all very current. So this is, um, oh, now look at this. Note, this pattern has the new narrow shoulder look. Let me see if I can find the year on here. Oh, glasses. Let's see. This is 1973, and that's got the new narrow shoulder look. Oh boy, this is an old quick sew. You know I love quick sew. However, I don't, I can't see myself in this pattern. However, as a little piece of history, I love it. This is Quick Sew 482. That is a pantsuit 
but it sort of reminds me of something like the crocodile hunter might have worn. You know, it looks looks kind of safari. Butterick, love these old Butterick's. This is 6525, a bunch of shirts in there. Button up collar. McCall's 3553, super 70s going on here. Very cute. The white dress is super cute. We've got bell-bottom trousers and a jacket. Is this for knits? Yes, yes, synthetic double knits. You can use for this or they say wool, linen, PK, cotton and broadcloth. Oh, this has gotta be 60s. This is a coat. A divine coat, isn't it? Um, I'm having trouble finding the number. So it's 5148 Simplicity. Look at her hat up here. So 60s. Did Jackie O popularize the pillbox hat? That's what that little hat reminds me of. So we have a beautiful coat that's fully lined and... Oh, wow, you get a scarf. You get that little scarf that she's wearing right there. Beautiful. Super throwback. Simplicity 6960. I'm guessing that this is late 60s. And this is a great dress. Now, they've made it out of that heavy-duty polyester there. I would not choose that, but I could definitely see making this. And, you know, the high necklines are all making a return. Have you seen the real high kind of prairie look with the little ruffled necklines? That is very popular. This is a designer fashion from Alpern's Yard Goods in Morris Plains, New Jersey. So that dress has pleats, and that's a Simplicity 1960s. This, I believe, is 1970s. Simplicity 6700. This is a cute wrap skirt. Very, very cute. I used to love paging through those counter books as a kid. And I would look at their shoes. I'd look at their hairstyles. The illustrations are such a treat. Such a treat. All right, Simplicity 6961. This is another designer fashion. Little bows on the back pleat. And sleeveless or with short sleeves. It's got an interesting seam right there at the bust line. Designer fashion, Simplicity. Another Butterick. I think Butterick might be my favorite vintage patterns. So this is Butterick 5191. Love it. Love everything about it. A very high yoke and it looks like French darts. That is dress and coat. Dress and coat included. Line drawings here. That is cute. Uh, the coat is lined and the dress is not. McCall 6146, a beautiful 1960s shirtwaist dress. Look at those tiny little waists. How did they do it? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess they wore girdles and we don't do that anymore. And that would have been so uncomfortable but they looked beautiful. Women go through a lot to look good and we still do. So that's a shirt waist dress, lots and lots of darts going on. They always had a lot of darts to get a beautiful fit. Darts in the front, back, shoulders, sleeves, dart city. All right, here is a Simplicity, definitely 1960s, 
5835. Classic sheath dress, a little jacket, a coat, and a top. You can do a top and a skirt or make a dress. So many choices. Let's see the line drawings here. And it really doesn't look like all that many pieces for all of those different garments. Simplicity 5835. Love this one. McCall 7436. That's almost like a cross between a shirt dress and a sheath. Very flattering. It's a quickie. <laughs> quickie. Uh, quickie. Well, okay. It's got a zipper. It's got sleeves gathered into those cuffs. You can make the tie belt to wear around the waist or around the neck. Long sleeves or short sleeves. Here is Vogue 7486. I'm guessing this is 1960s. We have some faux welt pockets. Those are just for looks. And some nice interesting panels in here on the bodice. Raglan sleeves. Little stand-up collar. That's cute. Zipper in the back, of course. $1.50. Can you imagine getting Vogue for $1.50? Now, this is looking 70s. This is looking flower child to me. This is Simplicity 9965. Obviously, they have shirring going on here. This sort of reminds me of my sister's prom dress in the 1970s. Maybe she didn't wear it to prom, but I feel she had something very much like this with that shirred bodice. And we can wear off the shoulders or on the shoulders. Again, this is all really popular. Again, uh, long dress too short. That's a note that somebody wrote about that long dress. Oh, I love this. Look how cute this is. 7539 Simplicity. I'm wondering if I actually made it. I might have made this back in the 70s. Halter pockets. So cute. Maxi or short. Uh, let me get the exact year for you. Plus, I thought her turban was really cool. See that? Uh... 1976. I think there's a strong chance that I made that. I really do. And I still love it. This is a how to sew pattern. 7460 Simplicity. Very cute. I love basic pockets. Cute length and shape. Pretty much A line. With the long zipper. Boy, did they love long zippers. This is eight, no, this is 6606 Simplicity. Again, so popular then and so popular now. Empire seam, button front, collar, cuffs, belled pants. Really cute. Really cute. Oh, so Beautiful McCall 6358. Now, they made these drawings so stylized. So stylized. Candace was explaining it to me because she does a lot of portrait art. And she was explaining to me like the number of heads that you put on a body and that these stylized fashion drawings, they would use a lot of heads like they're really really long like maybe 10 or 11 head length because of course then the clothes look fabulous and they make those waists teeny tiny but that is a really sweet dress i'm thinking you'd have to wear a crinoline under that to get it to poof out like this and here's a sheath straight version 1960s, adorable. 
Not sure of the date here, gotta be 60s, maybe late 60s. Simplicity 7309. So let's see, you just sew this dress loose and then if you want to cinch it in, you can make the tie belt and wear it like that. And it's got pockets. Is there a collar you can put on there? That's really cute, I love it. Boat neck or collar. 7309, we're almost at the bottom. Another Butterick, love the Buttericks. 5307, 1960s Butterick. Cute dress. I'm thinking I want to do this one with the color blocking for sure. That is A line. How do they describe this? Semi fitted. Semi fitted A line dress has contrast or self front buttoned tab with top. Stitch trim, jewel neckline, three quarter length, short sleeves, or sleeveless. Optional purchased belts and scarf. Love it. I feel like my mom might have worn this back in the day. Simplicity 6206. She loved high collars. She loved the little Mandarin treatment. Definitely. This is called. A, I thought this was going to be a pounds thinner. I like those. <laughs> this is sized for stretch knits only. 6026 Simplicity. Simplicity 7267. Designer fashion. We have a bit of a cowl, a very, very soft cowl there at the neckline. You can belt this. Not sure if it has pockets. No, does not have pockets. And the last one, I don't know if this is 60s. This might be 50s. 2566 sleepwear. <laughs> Maybe not the most enticing sleepwear, but certainly comfy, except for those silly sleeves. Now, I have an entire stack of 1950s patterns, but I kept it to 60s and 70s today. This is Simplicity 2566, might be 50s. How about those patterns? I love vintage patterns. I do. But, you know, I went to the Simplicity sale and... Got a few patterns to sew around here. My buddy Trix is actually here with me. He usually likes to, uh, to be in the video. He always shows up when I'm, when I'm shooting a video. So uh, I hope everyone is doing fine. Nothing really new for me to tell you. I made Brad a shirt this week and I was this close to putting it in the oven and turning the oven on broil. Oh my gosh, I finished it and it will be in October makes, but it was not what I would call fun. Not fun to sew. Not all sewing is fun. It's really great when it's fun and then when it's not, oh man, you just have to pull in all the reserves and keep going and finish it and move on. But he loves the shirt and he will be here to show you in my October makes, which are gonna be coming up, what, in about 10 days? So I better get busy. I'll see you soon. I have new fabric to show you and <laughs> I think we're going up to Fabric Mart too. I'll report back on that. Um, I have a little bit of spending money, and so I was able to persuade Brad that he doesn't have to pay a penny and that I am going to pay my own way, and wouldn't he just love to go back? And he said, okay, <laughs> okay. He's actually game. He really is. All right, this is 
too long. Well, not too long, but it's long enough. So I'm going to let you go and I will be in touch soon. I'll try not to let so much time go by. I hope that you're sewing and putting your projects up on Instagram on the hashtag fall holiday sewing because I want to see what you're up to and get some inspiration from you. Thanks for watching today. See you soon. Bye.